Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel. This is Nancy Bastien and today I'm going to introduce you to something a new, well I don't know, you guys might already know about it, but um, I want to change the cover on this new, this glue book that we've been working in. And so I went to the hardwood hardware store yesterday and bought me a sanding block. I'm going to sand all this off. And then I'm going to put on this craft text. And it comes in a roll like so. Pretty big. So, yeah. You can paint on it. You can emboss on it. You, it feels like leather. Um, you can spray on it. You can stamp on it. You can distress. You can make all kinds of goodies. Um, but today I want to sand this off and glue these on. And then we're going to paint them. I thought about just um, painting them and then glue them on. I don't know. What do you think? I think I should do that. That one goes on the back. This one goes on the front. I think I should paint them first before I glue them on. That might be a good idea. Let's just paint today. Tomorrow we'll sand and glue, or however, how far we get. Okay, so this is, I need to mark this as the, this is the back. And this is the front. So that I paint them on the right side. So I have some paints, I have some deco art patio paints, and they're in these colors. I thought these would be pretty. And I need to get some stencils, I forgot to get the stencils, and then I have my PVO paints. And I'm just going to spread it on with a card. You know how we do. We spread it on with a... I'm going to use uh, my husband's Chevron card. We don't have Chevron stations here anymore. Um, hang on. I'm going to... I'm going to pause for a minute. It'll be just a second for you. And I'm going to get some stencils and some stamps. All right, let's get started. So, let's see. Just going to put some of this uh, purple. It's called Summer Lilac. And it's patio paint, outdoor paint, but it works real good on paper and on the indoor. So, yeah, I just want to start out with a little bit of that. Now, I'm just doing one at a time. I don't know why. Probably should do both of them at the same time. Okay, you talked me into it. So I'll do both of them at the same time. These are a little bit runnier paints than... Um, the other deco art paint. But yeah, this paper is supposed to be really durable. It's, it doesn't, it, I don't think you can tear it. Oh, it's really tough. And it's called Craft Tex, and the craft is spelled with a K. And I got it off Amazon. All right, let's try some yellow. This is Fiesta Yellow. I 
I guess I want s spring summer colors. That's what I'm going for here, it looks like. I'm not liking this card too well. Let's see what else I got here. Now, well, looks like that's about all. Turn it over and use the other side. And I just have a piece of uh, my mixed media craft paper on the bottom of here so I, I can get paint on it. I don't have any stories to tell. I have uh, had a good Easter, went to church on Easter Sunday, that was a really good service, and then my sister-in-law and I went to Outback for some dinner, and my steak was awful, it was hard to chew, it was tough. She got filet mignon, and I guess I should have gotten that, but I got center cut um, sirloin, and it was it was just really bad. It wasn't good at all. All right, I'm put some of this apple green on here. I don't like a, ugh, I don't like a lot of spicy food. And the Outback seems to be all spicy. I, I learned that lesson when I lived in Utah and my ex-husband and I went there one time. That everything there is really spicy. And, but I wanted to try it again to see if it, you know, because it's been years since. And that was about the only good steakhouse that's close enough around here. Anyway, yeah, I, I was very disappointed in my steak. She had filet mignon, and she said hers was wonderful. It was so tender. But, you know, you live and you learn. But anyway, I ordered a salad, the house salad, and I ordered ranch dressing. And uh, I poured it on. I ordered it on the side because I don't want a whole bunch on my my salad at, all at once. So I poured a little bit on my salad and took a bite and oh my gosh, it was so hot and spicy. I guess they had hot and spicy ranch. It was, and I couldn't eat it. It was just burning my mouth. It was burning, you know, and they should tell you this. They should they should let people know, especially senior citizens who, like me, who don't like a lot of spices. And when she came back to the table, she says, well, that's all we have. That's all the ranch we have. We don't have anything else. And I was so disappointed. I'm going to dry this a little bit because I want to put some blue on here and I, and you know, so blow dryer, heat gun, put some of this robin egg blue and this needs to be shook up shook up it's you know I have these in one of those those
paint dispenser things that spin around and they're sitting on their side like this and that but they always need to be, still be shaken i don't know why but they just do okay so i think what i'm going to do this week is do some a lot of video no i shouldn't promise videos because i but i want to do a video of demonstrating uh, the sprays that i bought because i got a lot of new ones in the mail besides the distress sprays i got my dilution shimmer sprays i got some dilution um mica sprays i also got some uh, dilution spray uh, stains spray stains and i want to spray some of those on some you know and demonstrate them a little bit this is getting to be a hot mess don't worry guys it always turns out it, it really does it always turns out okay all right i'm going to put a little bit of pink on here now and this is azalea Pink and blue make purple, right? This paper, uh, this material that I'm working on is, is wonderful. It feels so nice. I like to emboss you know, run it through an embossing folder and emboss it. I think it would be pretty. Alright, now I'm going to put some, I'm going to put a little bit of white on this and um, push it back a little bit. push this. I, I thought that robin egg blue would be uh, a lighter color. have cut up some paper some um, size of ATC's and um, postcard size and I got me a box already for to do sprays and so I thought that would be a good thing to do all right now I'm gonna put some shimmers on well not shimmers but I'm gonna put some PBO on here and I'm gonna put some neon yellow That's going to go a long way. Because these paints are thick. You won't be able to see it that much because they're translucent, but it'll put a little bit of shine on here, I hope.
Not much has been going on here. So I don't have stories to tell. Nothing exciting like getting stuck in an elevator. Thank goodness. That was horrifying. Horrifying. I was ready to fly the coop. Okay, let's put a little bit of this neon orange. I thought I had neon pink. Let's see. I do. Let's put a little bit of, well, we don't have any orange on here. Let's put some orange. Just a little. Oh, yeah. That makes it pretty purdy. Very bright, very, very bright. Get this off of my card. So we'll have a pretty page down here. All right, I think I'm finished putting paint down. Now I want to make some marks. Make some marks on here and do some stamps. And I'm not sure if I want to do stenciling. Let's just do stamps and see how that goes. And I need to get my, um, hang on, I need to get my ink. It's just right here, guys. I thought it was. Where did my brush go? Oh, I can't find my versifying ink. That's strange, because I threw everything back in that thing. Oh well, we'll use the archival if it'll work. Sometimes it doesn't work. Oh, sorry, I'm putting my paints back. They're in my way. So I'm gonna take my credit card and I'm gonna slide it through this ink and see if I can make nope that's not gonna work all right I'm gonna have to use paint because I can't find my versifying ink and it's real juicy I'm gonna heat this I'm gonna dry this up a little bit
burn my hand. All right. Let's put a little bit of, of paint out here. And my little thing here. I'll put some black ink. That black paint, not ink. Got ink on my mind. my card through it. Right, that's enough of that. And now I'm going to take some white. Oh, I'm going to make some circles. remember that this paint is really runny. It's really runny. You don't have to put it back in the paint. All right. All right, I'm going to dry this up. And I'll be right back. <coughs> 